Just a short video about how you fix a rather annoying but probably very common problem with certain models of HP laptop. This particular one is an HP 625 and the model number is XN842EA-ABU. Don't worry if you didn't catch that, it's in the description anyway. But this fix also works for any of their models that use the same part and that part is this bottom palm rest and touchpad um, and I'm going to show you what the problem is how you fix it and how easy it is so that pretty much anyone regardless of their skills can follow the video and do it for free the actual part number is uh, 605782 uh, minus zero zero one and that's the top palm rest assembly with the actual touchpad built in but not the little buttons as we'll see but that don't need to know the part number um, it's just in case you want to you know get a new one or something in case you're looking at how to replace it rather than how to repair it but repairing is actually quite easy the problem I think probably happens quite a lot with this model and as I said any model that uses that particular part so let's have a look at precisely what the problem is you might notice at the bottom there there's more of a shadow where the left mouse button is because that's the one you click an awful lot and it dips in and sometimes it gets stuck so your mouse pointer clicking becomes a bit erratic and a bit weird um, and generally is annoying so what do you do well it's very very simple turn it over get yourself a screwdriver it uses the ph1 crosshair screw and the really good bit about this is that the screws in the bottom cover which we're going to take off are captive screws they're spring loaded with little metal clips so that even if you are a complete and utter novice who just happens to own this laptop you can't lose the screws because they don't come out so that's quite good and pull it towards you and the whole back assembly comes off now at this point with any other keyboard or any other part you're going to be looking at undoing about a million screws but with this particular model that top assembly if I flip it over slides off because where you remove the back cover it removes a sticky yuppie bit of plastic that blocks that sticky yuppie bit of plastic from sliding so now the back cover is removed I just push it and it comes straight off without any need to undo any screws now the problem I'm just getting the knife The problem is here. If I scrape back this sort of sticky foily stuff like this and peel it off there, the problem is that the little plastic bit, I think you can see it in the video, the little plastic bit that forms the spring snaps and so it fits in more than it should there's also a little plastic bit there which breaks off that bit there that's a bit harder to glue back on but you can glue it on that's what holds the actual button pad in place so what you do is 
to flip up that little thing there to take that out. There's a small screw there which you can lose but if you've got a decent screwdriver it sticks on the end of it so you can't lose it and the button assembly comes away and that's where your actual mouse buttons are you can just leave that and I'll bring it up closer and you can take a look see how that's snapped off just there so you put it back in with some glue preferably some epoxy resin not super glue and not polystyrene cement the kind of stuff you use for model kits something good like araldite glue it back on reassemble it and then your button is nice and plush again and then you just do everything in reverse and that's all you do very simple fix very easy fix um, hardly any screws to undo you don't need to be a technical genius to do it and it can save you some money um, at the time I did the video you can buy these but you can't buy them as new from HP well they do have a very good spare department you can't but you can get them on eBay for about ten pounds but it might come with the same problem that bit there so you glue it back on and once you've glued it back on you just put it all back together again slide it on, dip it on, turn it over, slide it in turn it over, put it back, put it on and you're good to go so hopefully that saved you some money, a bit of time and thanks for watching